so this happened some 15 years ago now and I can remember everything little detail like it only happened yesterday. I had been with my then boyfriend for around 10 years and was planning on getting married in a year's time. I moved away from my hometown with my boyfriend when we was both 18, we wanted to live and work in the city instead of being in a small boring town. My mother and father wasn't alright with it at first but then did realize that there was not much out here for us and decided to let us go. Living in the city was great if you ask me, we rented a small apartment at first, only had three rooms, a living, bedroom, bathroom and then a kitchen. It was all we needed for only two of us. We had decided to save up for around three years and put a deposit down on a house as we also wanted children too. We dreamt of a house, just on the outskirts of the city center, not too far that it would take hours to get to work and not too far so that the kids would walk a few miles to school, it would have been the perfect plan. We was living in the city for around three years now and due to settling in, looking for work and whatnot. We had not visited our parents in those three years we had been living in the city. Thanksgiving was approaching us within two weeks and we both decided that we would drive home for Thanksgiving and surprise our parents. We both booked off five days from work, so we could get ready for packing. I will admit, it was going to be strange going back to our hometown, I wondered to myself if anything had changed, any new shops, malls act. It has been a while after all and things do change with the times. I decided that I would cook up a few desserts, being an expert at making desserts, I knew they would go down well with the parents and siblings, I knew I had to make more than one as we had to visit both my parents and my boyfriend's parents. That week goes by so fast for us, it seems like something wanted us to go home to our old town. By now we had brought a car as my boyfriend had passed his driving test, I put the deserts into two separate boxes onto the back seats and then our luggage into the trunk of the car. I just hoped that with speed and motion of the car that the deserts would stay on the back seat and not go all over the place and make a right mess in the car. I wouldn't want to be the one to clean that up. Now with the car packed up, we was ready to leave. Our hometown was around 100 miles away and would take us the most of the day, with half day being spent driving through the city due to city traffic. By the time we got there it should be around 10 at night, it was also winter, so the roads would be more slippy and it also gets darker earlier than usual. We would have to take our time and not rush too. We had planned to take pit stops along the route just to make sure we had something to eat, drink and maybe a sleep if we really needed it. I really loved driving through the countryside and seeing the sights. Well we was about 10 miles from our destination when my boyfriend asked me a question which gobsmacked me and something I would never do in my life, well maybe if I thought about it, then maybe. Why don't we pull down one of these side roads? find a place to pull up and have some fun he said to me with a smirk on his face. Are you crazy I asked him, we are in the middle of nowhere with no lights, what if someone sees us I told him. All the better at night, no one can see us and if I can find somewhere secluded then no one will see us I laughed at him and told don't be crazy, besides we had plenty of time for that when we get there. I had to admit. He had quite the drive and wanted it nearly every day, I was happy to oblige, unless I wasn't in that mood. I saw the look on his face, like showing a treat in front of a dog teasing him and then just putting the treat back. I couldn't help but to feel sorry for him. However, that is something I would never do in a strange place without any plan for in case anything goes wrong. Mind I think I will do something for him when we get there. Around 8 miles now to home and the car starts sputtering, what's wrong I ask, I don't know, think we may be out of fuel he says, 
stop messing around I told him, there is no way that I am going to do that around here. I am not kidding he explained. The car starts to splutter more and more until the engine dies and now the car is rolling. We knew that there was a gas station a mile up the road, we let the car roll free to get as close as we can. However, the car only made it half a mile until it came to a complete stop. I was then scared and didn't know what to do. Stay here and I will get some fuel my boyfriend said. I was in shock, I couldn't believe what he told me. No I can't stay here alone, I told him. What if a murderer come and gets me or I get kidnapped, I explained back to him. Don't worry, no such thing happens in the middle of nowhere, besides, it won't take long and if you get really scared, there is a blanket on the back seat, just hide under that if you have to he told me. I knew there was nothing I could do about it, it was either we walked together where it was too cold to do that push the car to the garage but the car was heavy to push or just let him go and get some fuel and then fill up again. I didn't want him to go but we had to get fuel, he told me to lock the doors after he left and get the blanket ready if I needed it. I was now on my own and I had never been so scared in my life. 30 minutes later, I was wondering to myself, where is he? I am sure it doesn't take this long to walk half a while to the gas station, I was then startled by a scraping on the top of the car, but seeing as we parked under some trees, I just figured it was the branches scraping on the car. An hour goes by and now I am getting worried, thinking to myself, what if he is injured, what if someone had hit him with their car, he wasn't wearing any bright or reflective clothing after all. The scraping on the roof of the car continues and I am getting even more scared, I decide to turn on the radio to try and drown out the sound. Two hours go by now and I am really worried as I know he should be back by now, I complimented on ringing the police but wanted to hold out just in case he was walking back to the car. A few minutes later a cop car pulls up behind me, I am now worried. He calls out over his radio asking me not to turn around, what a weird request I thought to myself. Now with curiosity in mind, I really wanted to look behind me, I couldn't help it, it was like placing a button in front of me saying do not push, do you really think that will happen? I decided to turn around and see what the problem was, I really wish I hadn't with what I saw that night. Hanging there upside was my boyfriend with his hands scraping across the trunk of the car, I got screaming and running to the police car. He managed to calm me down in the end, calling the rest of the squad to take evidence and taking a statement from me. I really wish I went him that night to the gas station, maybe he would have been alive still to this day, but I can't blame myself, I have to remember that. Remember guys. If something like this happens to you, remember to put on your hazard lights and make yourself as bright as you can, that way there is less risk something can happen to you and also make sure you go in the daytime, that way, there is more traffic around you and a chance for more people to see you.